And now to find out if we were successful. Pull out of the garage. Let the engine idle. not appear to be very successful. Alright, so after reinstalling temperature gauge still didn't work. However, we have this interesting problem. When power is applied, this gauge is off and temp gauge is actually, so since we shorted out to the negative battery terminal with the jumper past the sender, this should be all the way up, and we should still be reading zero RPM. So, this is the jumper wire right there, which is attached to the sending unit. Right there are the cable that goes to the sending unit. So that should send that gauge all the way to temps. All right, so, here was the root cause why my gauges were not reading correctly, is we're gonna go through a gauge calibration procedure. And when I say the term calibration, uh, I actually use that very loosely because uh, we're not actually gonna compare it, you know, using a calibration gauge or anything, but with the key in the on position, dash open, not running, this, because these gauges came apart, these needles have to go back to where they're zero. So they need to be underpowered and actually reading. And, uh, I'm just gonna put this gauge on the needle at the zero mark, and that will set zero RPMs. You're gonna do the same thing with the temp gauge. If the gauges come apart, uh, you will have to have power on these in order to zero them. So with the temp sender cold engine, that's uh, critical here, uh, I opened up the uh, tachometer gauge and did the same thing with the temp gauge which came apart. So now that these are properly set at their zero positions, I will continue reassembly here and we should have a working temp gauge that reads correctly and an RPM gauge that reads correctly when I'm done. Right, after performing our little calibration procedure, we are going to check this whole thing out. So, start the engine. We will use our little Bluetooth dongle here. Insert it into the OBD2 port down here. Go to our torque light app, to connect to our Bluetooth. New time information. We're going to want to make sure these two gauges are reading about accurate once this thing finishes connecting. So you can see this a little bit better. So we are at about 1200 RPMs and 1200 RPMs what we're showing on the needle. So that's looking good. So we can also see our coolant temp 104 and our gauge is starting to creep up. So we'll take this for a little test drive and see how this all performs. Well, you might think we're overheating here, but we really are not as you can see our ECU is reading 194 degrees, which is the normal operating temperature for this engine. We've just driven it about 10 miles, so we are not overheating. So. We are going to do another adjustment on that gauge right there, which means we get to open the dash yet again. Right, so you get to watch me as we once again go in, calibrate this needle. So we are going to be pulling this needle here off.
now with that removed, we can see we are cool. Get our Bluetooth dongle plugged back in over here. Should be connecting. There we go. All right, so we're at 176, so we still haven't lost. So now we're gonna take this needle here, and we're gonna just adjust it. Looks like a good value, so that looks like about right temperature. So 197.6, which round not 198-200 is normal operating temperature for this guy, and I think we're good. Yep. And there we go. So now we can just uh, go ahead and put that dash back together. All right, dash is reassembled. So. Need to be paying particular attention to those two gauges there. So that looks good. We'll pop in our Bluetooth OBD2 device there. Go to the phone. Open up our app. All right. Wait for. to connect to our car so we are reading 194 on the coolant okay that looks pretty good 850 860 rpm all right that don't look so good that's about a that's a little on the high side um, so yeah we're gonna have to make an adjustment there on that needle again but uh, I don't think I'll need to video that as you probably got the picture at this point.